Hi, and welcome to another episode in my Learning Lightroom series. Now in this video I want to show you how I made a Facebook cover photo using a collage of images from the Lightroom print module. I wanted a quicker way of making them rather than Photoshop, which I'd done in the past, uh, uh, really to, be, to enable me to change out the images quickly to make new ones and keep it fresh. So I thought the print module on Lightroom make it a doddle. Well, once I'd finished, it is a doddle to use, but I had a few problems along the way. But now it's done, I'm glad that I did it. Now, since posting one on Facebook, I've had quite a bit of interest in how I did it. So, so here it is. Okay, then let's make a start. First, you need to create a collection with images that you want to use. And you can see here, I've got a collection called FB Collage, and I've just dropped 10 photographs in from a recent wedding. Then we need to select a template. Well, anyone will do to start with, so I'll just select the one at the top, we'll say 14B6. And we need to create a custom package, so I'm going to click on custom package. Okay, first we need to set up the canvas. Now, as we're in the print module, and it's designed to print, basically, a hard copy of the canvas. So we need to set up a custom one, and it needs to be 851 pixels by 315 pixels, which is the exact size of the Facebook cover photo. So I thought this would be in the page setup dialog of my printer, but I could not find any way to do it. So if I go to page setup, and I look in here, well, I've got different sizes, but there's, there's no, I can't find anywhere that lets me set up a custom setup. So if I go into properties, I get all the printed stuff, but there's nowhere where I can find where it'll let me make an, a, a, just a custom size. So if I've missed something here, because I'm not an expert with my printer dialog, um, drop me an email and let me know. Anywho, being an intrepid explorer, I decided to press on regardless and look for other ways of creating a custom page size. So I went down to the print job. And where it here it says print to and it's set for printer. I changed that to JPEG to print out to a JPEG file. And when that happened, I ended up with this little box appeared here, which is custom file dimensions. Here you can see it's set for 8.5 by 11 inches. Now this is in inches because at the end of the day we're, we're printing something. So I, I can't change this or I can't find any way of changing this to pixels. So I'm going to have to work in inches for the time being. Now what I'm going to do is use inches but in the same aspect ratio as the pixels. And then later on I can export it as the correct size in pixels to, so it fits. So what I did here, I put in here 8.51 and then I put in this one 3.15 and those are in inches and if I accept that I, I get this dialogue that says that wait, it, there's a minimum of 4 inches required. Oh, right, so hit another blank wall. So what I thought then, well if I double everything I've got exactly the same aspect ratio, but it should take me above that four inches. So let's have a go at that. So I'll put in here 17.02 and 6.30. Okay, we're cooking with gas now. We can see we've got the right aspect ratio for the Facebook paper size. Excellent. Right. Okay now, are you still with me or have you locked up and gone to bed? Well, <laughs> whatever. I'm going to press on regardless. I know you're there because I can hear you breathing. Okay, let's start building our template now. So let's just scroll up to the cells section. And here we can put in different size cells. Let's start with a, we'll start with a 4 by 6 and that's probably the wrong way round because I'd like one at this side. So if I right click inside the cell, I can rotate the cell and I'll just bring it up to that corner. Then I'll hold the shift key down and drag it out so it fits. 
and then it's just really trying to be a bit creative so let's have a we'll have a smaller one a two by three we'll have another two by three well we'll put a few two by threes in and we'll have one that goes well we'll put that one underneath there because you can overlap the cells we'll have another two by three we'll put it up to there and probably another two by three that goes into that corner and oh shall we put it down here yeah we'll put this one maybe down here and then we'll have another two by three that goes there oh this is not looking bad and we'll have another two by three and we'll stick this one at a jaunty angle just out there like that in fact we'll have another one and we'll just stick it to just to fill that corner up a little bit and then we'll leave this space at the bottom here um, for my logo and we can do that with an identity plate so if I scroll down here I'll change the background color as well to black and then I'll put my identity plate in and so you can click that and move it around but I'll just position that in that corner and I think I'm going to be happy with that okay when I've got that template finished I'm going to actually save it out as a custom template so I can use it again later so I'm going to go up to the template browser click on the plus and I'll call this Facebook template and it's going to put it in user templates and I'll click create and if you just go down to the bottom and look in user templates you can see I'd already got one created earlier that I called Facebook but this is a different one now called Facebook template okay so I'll now start putting some images in so I can let's say oh, I'll put the ring one in there just drag and drop I'll put this one in there maybe this is a good time to go and make a cup of tea while I drop all these in oops I think I've got that one twice okay so which one haven't we got then well let's try that one in there and that one oh I might have got too many have I got the shoes right we'll put them in over there and I think that's about done okay you can then just look at a little bit of a finishing thing you can look at image settings where you can have a photo border now this photo border basically is, is putting a, a black board around and then you've got an inner stroke which is this white one and if you want you can change that to make it thicker or thinner but I think it looks better if it's just a little thin white line like that okay I think our work here is done well not quite <laughs> now what we can do we've already saved it as a template which basically has no images in but you can now create it as a saved print and what this does this it saves it in its form with the template in place but it also saves a reference to these specific images so if I click see click save print I'll not put it inside anything I'll call it Facebook print and you can tell it to include only the used photos and if I click create what will happen is now you see in the collections panel now I've got a little printer icon there with a Facebook print and it's got nine images in so this has got the specific nine images for this in now if I use the template I can use any images just grab another collection and drag and drop the images in and everything's in the same place okay we're nearly there not quite but we're nearly there next thing is I need to export this and print it to a file so I'm going to use the print to file button and if I click on that I'll save it to my desktop where you can see it and I'll call it Facebook collage and I think I've already got one of them so I'll call it two 
Now if I just minimise Lightroom, you'll see on my desktop now here, I've got an image called Facebook Collage 2, which is the one I've just created. But if I hover over it, you'll see the dimensions of it. It's set it to 1225 by 453 pixels, which isn't exactly what I want. It's a bit too big, so I'd like it to be specifically the size I need it to be. So let's bring Lightroom back and let's re-import it. So I'm going to go back to the library module and I'm going to import. So I'm going to click the import button and then I'll just go and find that file. Well, I know it's on the desktop and it should be, I've made a few, there it is, Facebook image, oh no, it's Facebook collage. I've done, you can see I've done, I've done a couple of these practicing, <laughs> but there should be one called Facebook collage 2. That's my latest one, there it is. And I'm going to import that one. Right, let's go and find it. There it is, Facebook collage 2. I'll just double click. So there it is in all its glory. Okay, next thing we've got to do is to export this at the right size that's, that's going to fit into the Facebook aperture. So I'm going to use File and Export. I'll export it onto the desktop and we'll put it in a folder called Facebook Covers. Leave everything the same. The only thing I really need to make sure of is that we're resizing to fit and it's got a width of 851 by 315 pixels. Everything else stays the same. And if I just move it up a little bit, we can click export. And that's now gone into that folder. If I just minimize that and look in Facebook covers now, you'll see that I've got these three that I've created up to press. I've got my original one, I've got the, the one that I've posted at the moment, and I've got this one which we just made, which is the Facebook Collage 2. Okay, next thing is to put it into Facebook. So let's have a quick look at my Facebook profile. Here we are, this is the one I made earlier, and now I want to change it out. So I'm going to click on Update Cover Photo, I'll upload the photo, Go to my Facebook Covers folder and pick that Facebook Collage 2 one. And it's a bit big, so I'll make it a bit smaller so we can see it. There we go. And then I'll click Open. And off it goes, slotting that into that size hole in Facebook. Click Save Changes. And there we are, all updated and ready to go. So that's it. <laughs> uh, it's been a long and tortuous journey. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. That's how to make a, a Facebook cover photo with a collage of images and a collage of images that it's in the form of a template in the print module. So very quickly you can just go in, put a completely different set of images in, save it out and upload it to Facebook. Right, I'm off to have a lie down in a darkened room. <laughs> and, uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.